A stem and leaf plot is a way to display data. We always keep every item of raw data. The data is put into a table where each data value is split into a stem, the first digit or digits, and a leaf, usually the last digit, like in this example. Let's start with 32. We can break 32 into 30 and 2, but as stems are tens, we only write 3 in that column and 2 in the leaf column. We do the same for the rest of the numbers in our list. We don't normally need headings in the table, but whilst we're learning, it helps to see what the stems and the leaves are. Finally, we must include a key, so the person using the data knows what the place value of the stem and the leaf represents. In our example, the key could be 3, 1, which means 31. Here's one for you to do. Pause the video, answer the question, and click play when you're ready. Did you get it right? What about if we have larger numbers? Let's have a look at another example. Here are the heights of seven girls. Put them into an ordered stem and leaf plot. Let's start with 154. This time the stem will be the first two digits and the leaves will be the final digit. Then order them and add a key. We can also put decimals into a stem and leaf plot. Here's another example. The lengths of five caterpillars was measured and recorded here. Put them into an ordered stem and leaf plot. Break the numbers into units and tenths this time. Now order them and add the key. That's all there is to it. A stem and leaf plot simply allows you to order the data in a table and make it visually easier to read. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.